Hi guys, uh, today we're going to be starting a new unit, a uh, short project based on architecture. Um, we're going to look at the work of some existing architects, uh, Thomas Heatherwick in this lesson and then Zaza Hadid in the next lesson and take inspiration from their way of working, their inspiration and just have a look at some of their existing work to come up with some initial ideas, sketches. Um, and then we're going to work towards building some models and some concept modelling with architecture as a theme, uh, as a way of developing some ideas uh, while we're in home learning. If you haven't done so already, please watch the video on Two Point Perspective Architectural Drawing before you take part in these activities because that will help you uh, with some of the fundamental drawing techniques that you'll need uh, to help you produce really high level work. Cheers. Okay, so here's our level ladder. Uh, the objectives for today are that you can state and name a range of architects, um, you're able to demonstrate how their work can be used to influence your own designs, and that you understand how architects use abstract influences to inform the design of their own buildings and their own work. If you look at the top of the level ladder there, we're looking over this project that you have produced a range of detailed and ambitious architectural concept designs inspired by both the work of other designers and natural forms. You've justified your chosen uh, ideas and explained your influences through clear and well-written annotations. And as normal with the level ladder, as you move down, they get slightly more rigorous in what's required, but we should all be aiming really for the top level there. So today we're going to look at a designer who I have always been very inspired by, which is Thomas Heatherwick. Thomas Heatherwick is a multidisciplinary designer, so he works in product design, architecture, installations and sculpture. Um, at the bottom there, there's a small bit of information which has been uh, taken from Wikipedia, to give that credit. Uh, and I've just found a range of images to help inspire me. Now, what you'll notice, hopefully, is that a lot of Thomas Heatherwick's work takes inspiration from uh, natural forms, of fluidity, repetition and tessellation, lots of different inspiration to take there. Um, so we're going to have a look at his work, find some images online, maybe make your own mood board first to help inspire your sketches, and then we're going to try and apply some of the ways that he works and the styles that he uses to some of our own work. So you should have found a range of images that you're going to use as inspiration by now. Um, your task now is to design some basic um, buildings and, and objects and, and things that are used in a public space, take inspiration from the abstract and uh, nature-inspired work of Thomas Heatherwick. So, your task, produce a design for one or more of the following items inspired by the work of Thomas Heatherwick. A bus shelter, a bike rack, bench, or possibly a beach hut. Uh, use inspiration from the natural forms and fluid lines that you found within his work. Uh, I'm just gonna do a little demonstration of that now so you can see some ideas. Uh, and then it's your turn to start. So I hope you found it useful looking at uh, Thomas Heatherwick's work and you've produced some interesting design ideas. You should have aimed to have spent about an hour on this in total as a lesson. Uh, in a few lessons time, we're gonna start making some prototype models. It'd be very useful if you could collect a few of the following items. Uh, if you could source a craft knife or some really good scissors, a craft knife would be better. Um, some multi-purpose glue like Yoohoo or similar Bostic, that type of thing. Um, some cardboard, the type of thing that like Amazon packages come in nice, clean, flat, corrugated card and also some other scrap materials. So scrap thin card like cereal boxes, um, acetate, which is the clear plastic that you find on the packaging of, uh, on the windows of packaging that we're gonna use as windows um, and any other general model making things that you can find lying around. So pieces of dowel, lollipop sticks, those type of things. It will help us to experiment with a range of different materials. See you in the next lesson. Cheers.